we found some amazing travel trailers with Murphy beds. So stick around folks, you're gonna to wanna to check these out. Hi everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And today we're gonna to be reviewing travel trailers with Murphy beds. We love the Murphy bed concept because it makes these travel trailers so multifunctional. And you'll see why a little bit later on in the video. Hey, if this is your first time seeing us, welcome aboard. We make tons of YouTube videos all about RVing. We also have our website called rvblogger.com where we literally have hundreds of articles that we've written all about RVing as well. And if that's not enough, we also have a Facebook group called RV Camping for Newbies where you can learn all about RVing, meet fellow RVers, hang out with us, and just have an awesome time in the Facebook group. Today though, we're gonna be focusing on travel trailers with Murphy beds. And before we waste any more time, let's get started right away. That fly landed right on my nose. This travel trailer is the Forest River Platinum Salem FSX 179 DBK X model. And it is 3,498 pounds and it is only 22 feet, six inches long. So it's a smaller travel trailer that has many of the features and it certainly lives like a bigger travel trailer. And some of the reasons for that are right here at the front of this travel trailer. The first thing you'll note is that it has a Murphy bed up here. Now we really like the Murphy bed setup because it gives you a couch for living space during the daytime, but then at night you can easily fold your couch down Pop the little clip, pull your bed out, and boom, you have a queen size bed that's out of the way during the day and very much nice and comfy at night. You'll also notice there's a big wardrobe closet on the right hand side. It's also a small nightstand over here with a electric receptacle and USB port. And then above, there's additional storage. So as we move a little bit through this travel trailer, you have a nice inline kitchen set up. Up top, you have your microwave oven. Very nice cabinetry there. You have a big single bowl sink with a gooseneck faucet, two burner range. Down below, you have drawer and cabinet space as well. And then as we move back through, you have a re larger refrigerator with a separate freezer as well. Right across from the kitchen area, you have your dinette, and this can seat four people. It can also convert into a bed, so you could sleep one more person here. And then above your dinette, you have a nice size window and additional storage space also. Moving back into this trailer, you have double wide bunks, both top and bottom. Both of them have their own window, which gives them plenty of light. There's also some additional storage underneath the bottom bunk. So here I am inside the bathroom. It's really a decent sized bathroom in here. The shower's about three feet by two feet. Comes with a shower curtain. I wish it had a door with a retractor in it, but anyway, it's not a bad setup at all. You'll notice over here in the corner, there's a good sized medicine cabinet. Down below, it comes with a corner vanity and plenty of storage underneath. This travel trailer is by Venture RV. It's their Sonic Light SL150 VRB model. It weighs in at just 3,100 pounds and it's only 19 feet 8 inches long. When you first walk in, you'll notice there's a very comfy couch right in front of you. And this couch also serves as a Murphy bed, which is fantastic because it gives you plenty of space in here when you're not sleeping. And then, of course, you can lower your bed and uh, use the space for sleeping at night. Uh, on each side, there's a very nice wardrobe cabinet, um, receptacles on each side of the couch. And I'll show you how easy it is to flip the Murphy bed down. The sofa just jack nice out. <laughs> and then it has one clip here in the center. Pull that down. Just lower this down and then your mattress just folds right out and there you go it's the best I've made the bed in a long time there's also a dinette table that sits in front of the couch you can fold that up and stow it behind the Murphy bed as well so it's not in your way 
Okay, so here I am in the kitchen part of the RV, and you'll notice up top, these are gorgeous glass doors that they have in here. And they open up to a really nice size storage area. Countertop space is very adequate. It has a big, deep, round sink. Nice gooseneck faucet, two burner range. Down below that, you have your microwave, and then additional drawer and cabinet storage space. Right behind me here, we have a refrigerator with a separate freezer. This trailer has a really nice big bathroom in it. It's the full length of the back of the trailer. And uh, here I am in the shower. There is in the skylight area, I don't know, about six or seven inches of space over my head. I'm five feet 11, so decent amount of headroom in here. We really like the corner shower layout with these roll around glass doors. It's just a lot of room in here and it feels really comfortable. The medicine cabinet, is a very large size. Then it has an additional countertop space with a little cubby underneath, corner sink, and storage down below. Across from the shower and the vanity, of course, we have the commode, and they also have a super big wardrobe closet that goes back another foot or so that way. So there's plenty of storage space in here. This travel trailer is the Grand Design XLS 21 BHE and it weighs in at 4,698 pounds. It's 24 feet 11 inches long and we like a couple of things a lot about this travel trailer. First of all it has a Murphy bed set up in the front of the trailer which we love because it's multifunctional. It serves as both a couch for living area and at night it serves as your bed. It's very very easy to do. Just roll out the Murphy bed there's a little clip up top and then everything just folds right on down. Pretty easy. On each side of the Murphy bed, there's a large wardrobe cabinet. There's additional drawer space above and down below in the nightstands. There's also little cubbies in the back that have electric and USB ports so you can charge your phone at night. And then there's a couple of reading lights as well as open storage above. Also in, in the living area, that's where you can mount your TV right next to your couch. It's a little bit of an awkward position there, but there's not really a better place to mount the TV in here. But that wraps around into the kitchen area. We like this kitchen a lot. It's an inline kitchen design. It's got a really big sink, gooseneck faucet with a sprayer. Above, it's got the black smoke doors with some extra cabinet space. Then you have your microwave oven. Below that, you have a three burner range oven door and a nice deep drawer for storing all of your pots and pans. There's also additional drawer storage and storage under the sink as well. And as we move back, we get to the refrigerator and separate freezer. Just beyond that, we have a nice big two setup pantry system. Across from the kitchen, we have a dinette where four people can be seated very comfortably, and the dinette also converts into another bed. Behind me here, we have two bunks, one above, one below. They each have their own set of windows, plus there are USB ports above and below so the kids can charge their cell phones, games, whatever that they have. Here I am standing in the bathroom, plenty of room in here, three foot shower, two feet wide, plenty of head space, up to about six four. And then we have a nice shower door. I really like these spring-loaded shower doors because it's much better than a shower curtain and they don't take up much space at all. There's also a window in the bathroom, which is really unusual, but I like the added light in here. Then you have a medicine cabinet and a corner vanity with storage down below and across from the commode. All right, this travel trailer is the Grand Design Imagine XLS 17 MKE model and it weighs in at 4,674 pounds. It's 21 feet, 11 inches long. And one really cool feature about this particular travel trailer is the fact that it has a Murphy bed. And we really like the Murphy bed setup because they're so multifunctional. This Murphy bed is a queen size bed, as you can see. It has a big wardrobe closet on each side with drawers underneath for additional storage. There's also open storage overhead and a his and hers reading light as well. Now the Murphy bed also can fold up into a nice couch. And I'll just go ahead and put it right on up 
lot of folks are worried about their sheets and bedspread and all that falling off, but I just put it right up and everything stayed in place just fine. And then the couch rolls right into position and holds everything in place. There's also a latch over here that holds it in place as well. So now we folded up the Murphy bed and everything opens up in here. You have a nice comfy couch to use as your living area. Then of course, to the side of that, we have a very nice comfy couch here that reclines with a dinette table. And then directly across from that is the kitchen area, but they've really done a great job mounting the TV in just the right spot. You can see this from either the couch location or the Murphy bed location. So they really did a nice job placing it. One more thing that you'll notice in this particular travel trailer is the amount of counter space that you have. So as you can see, we have a very long line of countertop in here. It's almost an inline kitchen type setup, except that it makes a little L at the end for the refrigerator, but there's just tons and tons of storage space in here, in the drawers, under the kitchen sink, between the sink and the range. I mean, they just do a really great job with all that. Up top, I like the black glass in the doors. And when you open up, you have storage, you have an AM, FM radio. Some of your controls are in here as well. This has a big single bowl, deep sink with a gooseneck faucet and a sprayer. Very nice job. Three burner stove, range down below. Then they have this big deep drawer for pots and pan storage. Up above, you have your microwave and then you have even more storage I mean, they just make use of everything they can. Extra drawer space down below and then more countertop space beyond. In addition, it's got a separate refrigerator and freezer. So here I am in the bathroom. And as you can see, it's about three feet wide, almost two feet deep. Plenty of headroom over my head. It's probably about four inches. I'm 5'11", so you could be in here about up to 6'3 and be okay. Has a Nautilus door that pulls shut loaded so it goes back. I like these doors rather than a shower curtain so the, sh the curtain's not blowing in on you when you take a shower. And then it's got a very nice medicine cabinet, extra storage next to that, nice size vanity and countertop and all kinds of storage down below. This travel trailer is the Forest River East to West Alta. It's the 2100 MBH plan and it comes in at 5,378 pounds and it's 28 feet 4 inches long. Now when you first walk in the door you'll notice on the right hand side there is this incredibly plush couch and it's super comfy. It's got this really nice cabinetry around it and this actually serves as a Murphy bed. So during the daytime it's your couch, at nighttime it converts into a bed. Each side has a large wardrobe closet and down below, there's also a nightstand on each side, USB port, electric receptacle, everything that you need. Let me show you how easy it is to convert this into a Murphy bed. The sofa just jackknifes out. You just undo one latch. And when you pull this down, this piece just folds over the front of the couch. And then you simply Pull your mattress down. I made that look harder than it is because the mattress is all covered in plastic because this is brand new, but ordinarily that would be a little easier than it looked. All right, so right across from the Murphy bed, there is the kitchen area, and this is a big inline kitchen. Starting on the right hand side, we have a very large, deep single bowl sink. Nice, fancy faucet. I like uh, the faucet with the separate sprayer. Very nice cabinetry above. Also, you have storage down below with your drawer space. And then to the left of all that, you have a nice three burner range. This comes equipped with an oven as well. And then a drawer below for all your pots and pan storage. Up top here, we have a microwave oven. And then you have a really nice size refrigerator with separate freezer. Right across from the kitchen area, we have the dinette, which features a very large window over top. The, din the dinette's very comfy. It can seat four people and it also converts into a bed. And underneath of each of the dinette booth seats, there's additional storage space as well.
As we move back from there, we come to the bunk area, which features a really nice size wardrobe closet, along with drawers down below. There's a TV mounted above with countertop space, and then nice big comfy bunks, each with their own window, which we really like. And this particular bunk has a very cool setup where you can flip the lower bunk and take, have access to all the storage space down below. So here I am in the bathroom, standing in the shower. The shower is about three feet by two feet. Over my head, inside the skylight area, there's at least eight, nine inches over my head. So there's plenty of headroom in here. The shower itself comes with one of these retractable shower curtains, which we really like. They're very efficient. They keep the curtain from blowing in on you, and they're really out of the way. So very nice setup. There's lots of room in this bathroom to move in the corner. There's a nice medicine cabinet, a vanity sink, and then storage down below. This travel trailer is the Winnebago Micro Mini 2108DS, and it weighs 4,080 pounds, and it is 22 feet, six inches long. It's a nice light travel trailer that would be easy for you to tow behind most vehicles. But one really cool feature that we really like about this trailer is the Murphy bed setup. And the reason we like that is because it makes this part of the camper multifunctional. You can sit in your couch, hang out, watch TV, or you can turn it into a bed pretty easily. You just fold this down and out, and then this just pulls right on down. It's got this strap on here, which holds all your covers in place. So when you fold it up at the end of the day or in the morning, um, Everything stays in place and doesn't go falling all over the place. It's got a wardrobe cabinet on each side, and then it also has a nightstand on each side. It's sort of tucked underneath of the wardrobe cabinets. But it's a pretty cool feature that we really like that helps to make this trailer have more than one function. There's also additional storage underneath of the couch. There's two big drawers under here. And then each end table or nightstand also has storage under it. All right, the kitchen area in here is a nice inline kitchen. And starting at the far end, there's a little countertop extension here if you want to add some extra countertop space. The sink is a nice big, deep, single bowl sink, big rectangular sink, so you have plenty of room in there. There's a three burner stove. Um, there is no oven underneath, but it has this big drawer for storage. And then above, you've got your microwave. And then right next to all that, you have your refrigerator with a separate freezer. Right across from the kitchen area, you have your entertainment area here. You can mount a TV here. You've got your radio and a little bit of storage up above. And then down below here, you have like some pantry storage in here. There's a couple of shelves in there um, that you can store, you know, canned goods, things like that. The dinette in here easily seats four people. It's in a slide out, so it actually makes it feel a lot roomier in here. And then of course, under each dinette booth seat, there's additional storage there as well. All right, so here I am standing in the bathroom, and of course I'm in the shower. Uh, decent sized bathroom in here. It's got about a three foot shower by two feet. I like the shower door because it has the track that holds the curtain in place, so you're not, you know, the curtain's not blowing in on you. So decent size. Headroom is not very plentiful though. I'm 5'11", and if I stay in the skylight area, I'm fine. The minute I leave, I hit my head. So uh, folks that are 6'2", 6'3", or taller are gonna have a tough time. But right across from here, you have very large linen closets, a nice medicine cabinet, uh, decent countertop space around the vanity, and a little bit of storage down below. Let us know which one of these awesome travel trailers was your favorite by leaving us a comment down below. We hope you enjoyed checking out all these travel trailers today. And by the way, speaking of check it out, if you'd like to check out some of our other videos, just click one of these boxes down below. And remember to subscribe to the RV Blogger channel when you do and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every week when we put out a brand new video. So for Mike and Susan, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.